Welcome to MDMA Gaming's review of Everspace. Everspace is a fun, single-player game that revolves around combat, exploration, and upgrading your ship. The game also mixes in some roguelike elements such as the randomly generated levels, varied enemy positions, and ship resets between runs that add to the difficulty of the game. The core of gameplay consists of jumping from system to system trying to reach the end of each sector. Along the way, the player can choose what they want to do, the only requirement for each system being sufficient fuel to jump to the next. The combat in the game is both challenging and rewarding. The variations between weapon systems and enemies in combat forces the player to pick their fights carefully and use every advantage they can to win the day. Fast-paced combat challenges the player's skill and planning, with good decisions resulting in victory and poor choices ending in defeat. Similar to FTL, individual encounters can be easy or extremely difficult, with the easy fights draining resources that add to the challenge of more difficult fights later on. Most combat encounters early in the game have 2-3 to three easy enemies, while later combat involves both more varied enemy types as well as stronger individual enemies. Other than the enemies, there are also neutral NPCs that will occasionally be around to help the players in combat. The later sectors include such things as boss fights that are especially challenging to the player. Combat in Everspace utilizes three-dimensional ship movement and objects in space, providing depth to fights. On top of piloting, there are a number of different weapon systems that the player can select from depending on the situation. Each offers different benefits to the player, allowing more choice to suit each player's preference. All of this comes together to provide unique fights that change from run to run. Between combat, the player spends time exploring the system for resources and collectibles. Resources come in a number of forms, from gas to ore, that are all mined using the ship's weapons. These resources are used in conjunction with things like blueprints found in collectible caches scattered around the systems. The resources can then be used to upgrade ship systems or to build new systems that the player has the blueprint for. Alternately, some resources are used to repair any systems that were damaged in combat or to repair the ship itself. In addition to the upgrades available from the ship's crafting system, there are upgrades available from the ship's selection menu that persist between runs. These persistent upgrades use credits earned over the course of each run. Purchased upgrades can either be specific to a single ship or general upgrades apply to all ships. The ship-specific upgrades include things like more health for the ship, more energy, and increased speed, while generic ones offer such upgrades as a system scanner that reveals threats, better credit drops, and improved repair costs. These systems come together in a fun, well-polished game. The combat is difficult and engaging, the exploration rewards the players, and the crafting system allows the players to build unique ship layouts that fit their playstyle. Overall, the game is a solid 9 out of 10, with good combat and robust crafting systems supported by exploration. The only issue I have with the game is that it isn't inherently compelling. There is a story narrated by the protagonist, told in brief cutscenes, that provides an overarching narrative to the game. Additionally, the shipboard AI engages in humorous conversation with the pilot, adding to the enjoyable tone of the game. Despite these factors, the game may fail to compel some players to finish it. Fans of games such as FTL and Spelunky will enjoy the game, while others may not be interested in the repetitive nature of the game. As always, thank you for watching MDMA Gaming. If you enjoyed the video, like and share it.